Hello friends, welcome to Insights ICANN Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about NAVIC. You know students, the government of India announced that they are going to keep a deadline to, to make a mobiles which are compatible to the NAVIC. And by the way, NAVIC is a navigation system developed by ISRO or developed by India or India. In this context, we are going to discuss about the details regarding the NAVIC and NAVIC installation in the Indian mobile handsets and further details regarding the NAVIC. Okay. First, let us see the syllabus mapping. This particular topic is re related to Gender Studies Paper 3, Science and Technology. In this, Space Technology and the Achievement of Indians in Science and Technology. It is the syllabus mapping. Then, Video Components. Video Components are Wine News. This is, we will discuss and we will also discuss about what is this NAVIC and how many satellites are present in this NAVIC and what are the different types of satellites we will discuss. Some are geostationary satellites are there, some are geosynchronous satellites are there, we will discuss about different types of satellites. Then now we are using this NAVIC only in a limited manner, limited use. Then what are the potential uses of the NAVIC we will discuss. And in NAVIC also some of the old satellites we are replacing them with the new satellites that means old versus new second generation satellites of NAVIC we are going to discuss then we will discuss about the navigation systems from different other countries also we will discuss so this is about the video components topic now let us study let us see the why news details first why it is in use recently Indian government announced that you know like all the 5G mobile phones they must support the navic system and uh, navigation by when by January 1st 2025 the other mobiles which are not supporting the 5G they should also make mobiles compatible which are you which are compatible with the navic by December 2025 so these are certain deadlines imposed by ministry which ministry ministry of electronics and information technology so here yeah, the deadlines are very important regarding the 5g phones it is first january 2025 the other devices are by december 2025 in which context it came it came in the context that apple announced that whatever their new devices that means apple 15 been launched recently this Apple 15 mobiles are compatible with Navic. In this context, this, you know, like this particular issue been in use again. Now let's see further information regarding the Navic. Okay. Next, Navic. You know, students, Navic first stands from the stands for the navigation with Indian constellation. The other name for the Navic is IRNSS, Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System. Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System. It is a navigation system which is created by ISRO. Okay. So tell me students, where is the main headquarter of the ISRO? Where is the main headquarter of ISRO? Tell me. Next. What is the primary goal of this NAVIC? Obviously, the primary goal of the NAVIC is providing navigation services to Indians. Not only Indian students, even we can offer our services even to the other SAR countries also if they are in need. If you remember in the past even we launched the SARC satellite also. If you remember if you are able to tell what is the name of the SARC satellite put your answer in the comment section. What is the name of the SARC satellite? Okay. The primary goal let us see. The primary goal is reducing the dependence on foreign satellites especially now we are depending on the GPS global positioning system which is the American based one so by reducing on the foreign ones obviously we are encouraging the indigenous technologies and it is also supporting the India's sovereignty and India's security interest that you have to remember so it start operationalized this NAVIC operationalized since 2018 and it consists of seven satellites Originally, it's, it consists of eight satellites out of that one is not functioning. So that is the reason only seven functional satellites are there. Then what is the range of this navigation system? So the range of this navic is about they can cover up to 1500 kilometers beyond the borders 
and it works 24 by 7 1500 kilometers beyond the borders means what towards the exclusive economic zone so the wide range of coverage is providing by the navic next let's see what are the satellites present in the navic and in which orbits they are present so three satellites are present in the geostationary orbit and four satellites present in the geosynchronous orbit you know students based on the height we have different orbits low earth orbit geostationary orbit and geosynchronous orbit and based on in which in which way <coughs> particular satellite is revolving around the sun so revolving around the earth such as you know like polar satellites geosynchronous satellites okay so different types of satellites are there in this way so the three satellites are geostationary and four satellites are geosynchronous the launch progress the first satellite was launched that is irnss 1a it was launched on the 1st july 2013 and the eight satellites eight satellite irnss 1i okay 1i it was launched on april 2018 when the seventh satellite was launched so when it was launched when it was launched in the 2016 a prime minister named this as navic navic navigation with indian constellation next whether this system is recognized by international level s international maritime organization okay it recognized the irnss as a part of what as a part of the world wide radio navigation system in which region in the region of indian ocean region so it got recognition wmo world meteorological organization next limited application so far we are not using navic in a max you know like complete 100% level it is only in limited scale let's see in which areas navic we are using one is vehicle tracking especially the public vehicles then emergency alerts to fishermen during the cyclone time when fisherman going for fish this fishing at the time we can use this and we can guide them to come back okay come back to the shore then third one for tracking and providing information related to natural disasters so tell me students natural disasters they comes under which list of the constitution state list or concurrent list which list the next step india is pushing for to include this navic in the smartphone and i already mentioned the deadlines for that apple is already making their devices which are compatible with the navic that is a significant development we can see next we can expand the usage of the navic in further areas such as marine navigation and further in the disaster management then integrating into the mobile phones precise timing such as for power grids atms actually to improve the precise timing now we are using the second generation satellites in the irnss what are those second generation satellites i will explain then mapping cartography so these are the areas we can further expand the usage of the irnss significance navic provides real time information for two services actually any navigation system it can provide services into two broad categories one category of services are available to general public other category of services are available to the armed personnel here standard positioning service as well as the as well as the restricted service standard service for the civilians and restricted service for the authorized users like military now india is one of the country which is having its own navigation system what are the other countries having their own navigation system i will explain in a little bit later and this also reflect the india's advancement in the science and technology and the application of that advancement in our day to day needs and strategic needs in 2019 government made navic based vehicle trackers are mandatory vehicle trackers must be mandatory in all the commercial vehicles i say because of the case of the nirbhaya due to nirbhaya incident government of india mandated that all these commercial vehicles must equip with the this navic even the qualcomm technologies a company it introduced the mobile chipset with navic 
So these are some of the latest developments which are happening regarding the integration of Navic technologies. In future, this may extend that we may give our services to SARC nations also. Next, what are the issues and improvements? What improvements we are going towards? Okay, first regarding the strategic sector. Now ISRO is mainly using this Navic, okay, in strategic sector in a limited manner. We have to expand the Navic services in the strategic sector. In which way, ISRO is trans transitioning, that means changing from short codes to long codes. I mean the codes in the form of short wavelength as well as the longer wavelength. Okay, longer wavelength are the difficult to decode as well. It will improve the security and making difficult to breach, making difficult to decipher our military information. You know the students, deciphering the military information is very important and it was uh, uh, realized during the World War II when English were able to decode the information given by the British. From there onwards, they got the dominance in the Atlantic Ocean. So decoding information is very, very important. It also expands the user base and it improves the user friendliness. Regarding the mobile compatibility, already we discussed about this, the deadlines as well as which companies are already making chipset compatible with the Navic. Next, old versus new satellites of Navic. The seven satellites of IRNSS, all these are pretty much launched by using the PSLV and the primary launch, primary launch was done either in the geostationary or geosynchronous. The most recent one, we launched IRNSS 1i. Okay. Actually, this IRNSS 1i, it was a ninth satellite. But now we are having only eight, eight, eight satellites. What, what, are this, what is this ninth satellite done? Actually, there was a satellite, there was a satellite which was malfunctioning. That means not functioning well. So this IRNSS 1i, it considered to be this replace IRNSS 1h because IRNSS 1h is not functioning very well. And ISRO is also introduced second generation satellite named NVS-01 in May 2023. It is the first in the NVS series and it is heavier. It is the updated one. Okay. NVS-1, it includes radium atomic clocks like I said earlier, usage of uh, IRNSS in the ATMs, precise timings. In that regard, this will be used because it is having the radium clock and it gives accurate time information. Recently, four IRNSS satellites, they started providing the location services and the second generation satellites, normally they depend on what type of bandwidth they depend on the L1. Already, they, they are providing the bandwidth of L5 and S frequencies. Now they are giving L1 bandwidth. The second generation satellites, they are, have, they are going to have a long mission life. They cover over the 12 years compared to the existing ones which are having the lifespan of only 10 years. That is the main difference. More about this regarding the smartphones and it is also usage of in the usage of the Navic in the commercial trucks. And now it is also reflecting the India's self-development in the science and technology. And now government is thinking of giving production linked incentives. That means whichever the mobile companies as well as whichever the hardware companies are using the Navic, they can claim certain incentives. In this way also, they are going to encourage usage of Navic. Next, and wherever we are using the GPS, initially we would like to couple GPS system with Navic later, we are going to replace the GPS with Navic regarding the phones already we discussed and some of the navigation system from other countries from US, GPS, Russia, GLONASS, European Union, Galileo, China, Bido. Regional navigation system, Navic from India and QZ SS from Japan. These are the regional level, not the only the country specific because our navigation system even it can cover the SAR countries also. So this is about 
different countries and is so successful in chandrayaan 3 and successful in aditya l1 mission really improved the acceptance of navic in various global platforms or global companies it added the credibility to the india's capability in the science and technology research then yesterday's video question the 4 per 1000 initiative sometimes seen in news it is related to which of the following it is related to the carbon stock okay now let's see today's video question today's video question with reference to the irnss consider the following statement so out of these three statements which statement is right regarding the irnss means why is irnss needed and how does it help in navigation okay what is the significance and how it can help the navigation okay now as we reach to the end of this video now let us revise what we discussed in this video in this video we discussed about navic what is the meaning of navic how many satellites are there in the navic where they are present when they launched what kind of bandwidth they use and limited usage of the navic and in which area it can be enhanced and second generation of satellites in navic so these are the details as well as the navic up usage in mobiles and navic usage in commercial vehicles so this information also we covered this is the detailed analysis regarding the navic application in mobiles